Greetings metal community, it's uh, Roger back with another video of course and death metal again uh, as it will say in this description uh, for those who missed the kind of intro um, stuff that I usually have on my uh, kind of uh, collection updates uh, I've not been in the mood for editing uh, lately so um, but I will get back to it eventually uh, but uh, yeah Crucium Antum uh, with uh, Obsidian uh, Refractions absolutely banger on album might end up on the top of my list uh, it's just crushing it's heavy it's juicy it's slow it's fast it's evil uh, it's atmospheric it's all that in, in one um, album it's been eight years since the last or first album and channel passages and also the first song on this album is named the same so um, that's kind of cool to tie it up um, overall this album is it's not very dissimilar from the, uh, the uh, first album but it's just everything is done better uh, it's not as overall fast as the first album it was a little bit faster in general but uh, and also more but this is more atmospheric like there is some synth layers here that really creates a great uh, atmosphere uh, as well um, yeah uh, it's just a fucking killer album uh, it's only um, the main guy um, uh, Dan Lones, that's also produced or mastered the album, and and um, Greg Chandler has done the uh, mixing of it. So uh, you know this sounds good, and this sounds fucking amazing. This is the best produced album uh, that I have uh, gotten into my doors uh, this year. Everything is so fucking perfect in the mix. Um, there's nothing that pops out or destroys it. Uh, everything sounds awesome the drums are fantastic on this album as well uh, so we have found uh, three new members some a couple of them have been with him for uh, several years but um, I don't know why it's take them so long or him so long to write an album but he is producing a lot of stuff for uh, mastering and he has his music studio so maybe he enjoys that more than making music but uh, well worth the wait because this is crushingly good uh, I recommend I highly recommend this album and I really highly recommend stuff but uh, if you're into death metal go and get you one copy of this uh, just uh, amazing and we are going to uh, Spain and uh, Sanctuarium with into the uh, Mephitic Abyss Kind of a little bit in the same uh, vein as, as Cruciamentum, but it's dirtier, um, it's more filthy, horrible and uh, all that good stuff that Mark G always say. This lovely black vinyl, um, yeah the Cruciamentum vinyl is black as well, but um, I'm not gonna pick it up. This is death metal, but, but it has doom parts uh, very much. They have some cool um, like add-ons with where it's slow. Um, also like that they have a different poster from the cover. But yeah, just a very well uh, done album. Um, as I said, production-wise, way more murky and and um, dirty sounding, but. They also play a little bit dirtier. They are not so blasting fast as Christian and Tumor uh, in, in that regard, but um, yeah, great album. Uh, Simon over Explosive Action showed this as well and his last update song. I'm pretty sure you already checked it out. And yeah, but a great, great album if you're into the uh, dirty, uh, dirty stuff. Um, it is in the vein of the new wave of death metal you know you have it all here so uh, but it's not so much doom stuff here uh, it, it's more like fast and up tempo with death metal uh, yeah great great stuff i uh, haven't played this enough to kind of 
it is a contender for my top list of death metal this year, but uh, I have to give it... It's not in yet, but it might end up there because it's a great, great stuff. Yeah, one that surprised me a little bit because I'm kind of... When this band releases stuff, I'm always buying it because it's one of the old good ones. Uh, but I kind of been, especially the last one, didn't click that well with me as I had hoped. But um, yeah, this is the new autopsy with um, Ashes, Organs, Blood and Crypts. Uh, this album is fucking great. I really enjoy this album. Uh, it's um, fun. It sounds like they have a lot of fun playing it. Uh, it's very variated. It's a little bit more kind of lighter in a way, uh, like more... Um, upbeat uh, in a way a little bit more punky a little bit more uh, rock and roll I know you can't say that with death metal but uh, yeah There's the guys in the band but it's not like it's a massive difference from the previous album it just feels better it feels more fun and it's kind of just click uh, way better with me than the previous album and I've played this um, way more than the previous album as well because of it. Um, yeah, there's really not much to say about Autopsy, but if you kind of been like me that, you know, Autopsy have been doing Autopsy for all the releases, but uh, this is one of the best they have done in, in, um, yeah, in many years for me and um, this also might end up on my list uh, just because it's fucking awesome. So um, yeah, if you're a fan of Autopsy, I'm sure you already have heard this album. But uh, if you are kind of sit put, sit down on a fence a little bit and don't know if you want to check it out, go and check it out. Um, I rate this uh, good step over the previous album already. Then another album that has been talked a lot about, and there's been a lot of different opinions about it, so uh, here's mine. Uh, Tumult, with uh, the Enduring Spirits, this is, uh, as everybody knows, a Canadian band. Three Piece, there is the guys with some better t-shirts than they had on the Disable cover. That has been spoken uh, about as well. I can show the poster. So there was a lot of. Um, I mean, this poster is massive. And uh, yeah, it's just the cover art, and uh, I'm not a big fan of the cover art. I have to be honest. When I saw it, kind of uh, shown on on on. Uh, videos I was kind of yeah this is cool it looks good uh, but it's kind of a little bit tame in the coloring uh, I think um, it's nothing wrong with the um, yeah this black vinyl and two mold they also have some uh, like stuff going on the inside which is it's stupid but uh, cool um, yeah Way more technical than they uh, used to be, and I really like the music here. I think the music is great. Uh, I think they have. Uh, I might have wanted a kind of a more a transition album from the doomy, heavy, chuggy style that they were into this, but uh, but that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I think it's a great album when it comes to mus the music and everything. For me, the problem is the vocals. The vocals is very. Yeah, boring. It's very deep and very monotonous, and uh, sounds a little bit. Uh, it's lacking a little bit energy uh, that would have been needed on this music, um, and not so deep. This this music uh, demands a different type of vocals. I feel, and that's this is my personal opinion. I'm not saying that he has a bad uh, vocal at all, but uh, it just doesn't fit uh, this type of music compared to the previous stuff so maybe he should just uh, yeah maybe he should uh, hire a, a guitarist vocalist and uh, he could uh, do drums I mean he's a good drum player so uh, he should continue that but um, yeah great great music music but um, uh, it won't be on my list this year uh, just because of the vocals pulling it down a notch but uh, but if it had had a different more um, 
not so deep and, and monotonous vocals, this album might well have ended up on my uh, death metal list this year because it's a great, great album. But um, yeah, some something there that doesn't click well with me. Also picked up this. Um, well, I got it through Everlasting Speed. This, this one I picked up. Um, yeah, Everlasting Speed always put in a lot of uh, stickers and um, stuff like that, and the flyers. I'm not going to show those. This is Puke Rate, also Canadian uh, one, one Piece, Banquet of Scum. This is just, uh, in a way, straightforward death metal. Um, nothing spectacular, it's just a very solid, fun listen. Um, the inner hair with uh, some... Yeah, it's kind of cool artwork. I don't know if it's right for the music in a way but uh, who cares uh, the cover is awesome that it's more fitting for the the music also some cool um, center labels that is awesome and uh, on the side is the logo so yeah I mean if you want like no no, no nonsense uh, death metal a uh, little bit dirty uh, death metal uh, puke rate has done a very good album here um, not a top 20 list for me but uh, still I really enjoy this album so uh, go and check it out if you haven't already it's um, this came out no this came out last year so it couldn't be on my list that's right this is a 2020 release uh, sorry about that but I saved myself from the terrible mistake but um yeah out on Blood Harvest, if I didn't say that. Um, so uh, you know it's it's good stuff. Just putting all the flyer shit back. So yeah, quality death metal. And another one that Simon showed last time. And uh, also Liam I picked this up. Uh, Liam the Death Doom Metal. This is Klaustrum from Italy. Um, it's not as, uh, you know, bombastic, uh, technical, uh, brutal as um, most of the Italian band seems to be. Uh, this is again more, um, I would say more towards Gutvoid in a way, special on the, on the slower parts. Um, they have a little bit of that lead uh, guitar uh, going over it. Uh, variated in tempo as well, but, but it is pretty brutal I would say uh, compared to a lot of bands out there on but it is still in the death metal it's not brutal death metal but it's kind of more on the brutal side of death metal uh, if you know what I mean and if you don't uh, that's on you but uh, if you have watched my channel you know what I'm talking about it's this only had this kind of uh, yeah it's green and white uh, stuff uh, yeah it was the only color that there was so. but yeah uh, yeah really really good album uh, this is also kind of a uh, very much a contender for a list this year um, and also one and it's a little bit like uh, what I forgot to say about Trusimentum is that the initial first rounds uh, wasn't kind of you know, it, it didn't kind of drag me completely in, but uh, uh, I bought this uh, after Liam showed it, and, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he was right. Uh, also, what Simon said on the last video, it's it's, uh, it's a damn good album. It's a little bit short, around half an hour. I would have preferred a, a couple of more songs on it, but um, it's better than to be short and, and killer than um, too long and, and boring. So. Um, yeah again go and check it out this is quality quality death metal so last uh, one is one that also have been showed a lot uh, this is um, the uh, outer sleeve of the new um, sulfurian from germany seven crowns of seven seals and seven seals can't even read uh, 
Yeah, this is bombastic, uh, a little bit bombastic. It is uh, black and death metal. Uh, I'm not. I mean, the initial uh, listen to this was kind of yeah, great, just just like I wanted. Uh, but it kind of didn't go any further. So it's just a great, it's a great album, but it it, it didn't, it won't be on my list this year. Because I have revisited this album uh, a couple of times and uh, still enjoy it a lot, but it, it's not as it's not as kind of it, it doesn't pull me in uh, as uh, I had expected it to do, uh, really. But uh, great album. Uh, a lot of people will have this on the list, and I'm totally understand understand that because it's a great piece of, of death metal or black and death metal. But yeah, it is a little bit, have a little bit of that bombastic uh, kind of, uh, you know, um, Belfagor and, and a little bit of the uh, Behemoth uh, Satanica vibe to it. If you like that type of music, go and check it out. Um, yeah, it's very well done. It's very well produced. It's very well written, but it's kind of lacking that little extra uh, to kind of step it up to a, a top-notch album but uh yeah it's still a, like a eight out of ten album i would say but uh it, it, it will will uh for seven and a half uh eight out of ten i would give this album because it's 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 great it's just that i had expected to be pulled in a little bit more than i, I was but yeah once again just uh, showing off uh, the uh, lovely Crucia Mantum album, um, go and check it out. I will link everything up below as always. So um, yeah, a little bit too long uh, this time, but sorry about that. But um, until next time, be sure.